In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make these mandel bulb renders in Blender. As always, it's going to be a quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so first you need to download this math add-on, which you can find in the description. And then go to Blender. And then I'm going to uh, set this to uh, full screen. And then go to Edit. Then Preferences. And then first we need to enable the Node Wrangler, just to speed up the node setup. And then next we need to install the math add-on that we just uh, downloaded. So I'm going to scroll down, and here it is. Then install the add-on, and then you can enable it, and go back to the viewport. Okay, and then select the light, and we're going to turn this into a sun. And then I'll set the uh, strength to 15, which uh, should be enough. And under the render settings, I'm going to switch to cycles and use the GPU. If you only have a CPU, you can just use the CPU and then set the number of uh, samples to 50, which uh, should be enough for uh, these volumetrics. And by decreasing the volumes step rate, we increase the uh, detail of the mantle bulb. And I'm also going to make the background transparent so that you can add a background later. And then let's select the cube, press tab for edit mode, and then S to scale. And then next, we can grab the uh, top right corner of the window. And then in the new window, we can uh, go to the shader editor, then press N to remove the sidebar, then press X to delete the principal shader. And then next, press Shift A, and now we're going to add two shaders that are usually added for creating smoke, but in this case, we're going to use these uh, shaders to create the mandel bulb patterns. So uh, we're going to add both the volume absorption shader and the volume scatter shader, and then connect them to the add shader, which is then connected to the material output volume input. Okay, so now that we have the shaders that we need for the pattern, we can add the pattern. So press Shift A, add the math expression, and then under presets, go to Mandel Bulb. And then we can just remove the text that uh, pops up by dragging the top left corner. And then next, we need to add a math node in between. So we'll just uh, search math. And then we're going to connect the inside to the uh, two different shaders, which of course gives us the pattern, and then set the uh, multiplication node in between, so that we can multiply the uh, effect. Okay. And then next, we need to select the uh, math node, and then press Ctrl T, and delete the image texture, and then by connecting the object output to the vector input of the mapping node, and then connecting that to the uh, math node, you can see that we get the uh, pattern. And then next, we can go into the viewport and go to edit mode for the cube, and make sure the domain is large enough, and as you can see, the uh, smoke is uh, also refreshed. Okay, and then next, we can add a color ramp to add some colors to the metal bulb. So press Shift A and add the color ramp. And then next, we need to connect the intensity, which controls the color. And uh, then the color to the color of the volume scatter which of course will control the uh, colors of the mandel bulb itself, while the volume absorption controls the rest of the domain. Okay, so uh, let's set the uh, interpolation to constant, and that means no transitions between the colors. So uh, let's try out some uh, lighter colors. And then you can just add multiple color stops and uh, 
add the uh, colors that you like. I'm going to make this one kind of blue and then add another one. Let's try red, for example. And as you can see, the uh, metal bulb now has uh, multiple colors. So uh, I'm just going to play around with the colors a bit and speed up this part. And I recommend you uh, trying out some uh, different colors as well. And then once you have added the uh, colors, we can go back to solid view, then press Control Alt Numpad 0 to set the camera to the current view. And then next, I'm going to increase the resolution, but I recommend keeping it at 100% as the 500 frame animation will take two months to render on a 2080 Super with a 4K resolution. And that's why I used Sheepit. Okay, so I'll set the end frame to 500. And then um, I'm going to set the value, the end value to 1. And then press I to keyframe the value. And I'm also going to um, keyframe the uh, color stop and move it to the right throughout the animation. So press I to keyframe. And then go to the last frame, which in this case is uh, frame 500. And then I'll set the uh, value to uh, 6, press I to keyframe. And then I'm going to move this color to the right and press I to keyframe. And then next, press T in the timeline and uh, set the keyframe interpolation for both nodes to uh, linear so that the change is constant. And then I'm going to adjust the position of the camera. So uh, press N to open the side panel and then camera to view. And I'm going to go a little bit backwards. You might have to switch back and forth between render view and solid view in order to place the camera correctly because the frame rate might uh, drop a lot in render view. And then I'm going to select the camera and drag it a bit backwards that way. And to make sure that everything is within the frame of the uh, camera throughout the animation, I'm going to s decrease the uh, step rate and then go through all of the frames and make sure everything is within the camera. And if it's not, I'm just going to move the uh, camera a bit backwards. And then I'll give the uh, file a name and uh, save it on the computer. Okay. And then for a uh, single frame render, I'm going to increase the detail and I'm going to try out frame 233. And then let's set the step rate to 0 0.01, which is the highest possible. If you have a slow computer, you might want to set the step rate higher. And then I'm going to uh, do the uh, render and save one more time before I start the render. Let's go to render and then render image. And after three hours of rendering, we have this result. You can of course also go to render and then render animation, but keep in mind that the render time is going to be really, really long.